Hey guys, what's going on? Pastor Mike coming to you live as always, giving you a preview of what's coming up this week at the Highlands Bible Church. First of all, we are back. Thank you so much for that time away. What a great relaxing week with the family. We are fired up and wired up. We are tanned, rested, and ready for September. How in the world did we get to September so here's what's going on this week at Highlands today, being Wednesday. Don't forget we have our midweek series, Problems with Christianity, responding to the common objections to the faith. And tonight is a biggie. Tonight is the problem of sexuality. How can you Christians be so mean and so spiteful and so bigoted and so wrong as to say that someone's sexuality or their gender identity is sinful? How do we respond to that? What does the Bible actually say? Especially when we have churches in our own town that say and claim falsely that the Bible has different things to say about it than it has said for the last 2,000 years of church history. But most importantly, as this is an apologetic series, how do we as the church respond with kindness, with grace, but not compromising on the truth of what the Bible says, and to do so in a way that gives a compelling, contextual, and compassionate defense of the faith. That is our call. So join us tonight, 6.30 p.m., upstairs in the Loffice. Next week, FYI, we will be um, doing one more session of Problems with Christianity, just wrapping things up. So down to our final two weeks. But coming up, Sunday, Lord's Day, September 4th, we will gather as always at 9.30 a.m. We will fellowship together as believers and encourage one another to endeavor to be faithful in the calling that we've received to be Christians in Sussex County. We will sing together and remind ourselves about the precious truths of God's word, of who we are and who God is and how we're supposed to live our lives before him. We will also be resuming our series in Psalms and finishing that up. I'm getting a hand cramp here, so i got to change hands. Ah, so much better. We're going to be in Psalm 44, a psalm about God's sovereignty over his enemies, the enemies of Israel, God's sovereignty over his children, and how we can work, or how he can work redemption of his children, again, through his sovereignty. So please plan on joining us Sunday morning. Also, as you prepare for Sunday morning worship, don't forget it is the first Sunday of the month, and so you know what that means. That means communion. In the morning service so as you're preparing please make sure you remember that there is communion so please if at all possible join us physically so that you can share in that sacrament of communion together where we remember the death of Jesus Christ for our sins together in obedience to him also as it is the first Sunday of the month don't forget then planning ahead we have our prayer meeting Sunday night at 6 p.m. up in the law office, so please plan on joining back here Sunday at 6 p.m. for our prayer meeting. Coming up then, there is lots going on in September as we uh, ramp things up again. Saturday, September 10th, we have our men's breakfast. Sign up will be available this week, so men sign up for that. Great time to meet other men in a low-pressure environment there, just getting to know one another. Saturday, September 17th, the following week, is our marriage seminar all day with Jonathan and Jen Holmes coming in from Ohio. Excited about that. We are partnering with Green Pond on that and some other local churches. And so spots are going fast. So if you've not registered, register today for that on the website. A couple things starting up as well. Tuesday, September 20th, we have our ladies' Bible study starting. And they are going through a good book on God's attributes through the stories of the Old Testament and then another mom's group starting up well a mom's group starting up on the 23rd coffee and conversations and if you have any questions about that see Alyssa Deming or else uh, Lydia Barlow and then of course we have our member meeting coming up on Sunday the 25th immediately after the service so I think that's all I have for us that's a lot thank you for hanging with me and listening and I hope to see you tonight at midweek but if not, I will see you on Sunday.